That's right, guys. We've got the key. We have the house. I have no idea what these light switches are for. Well, we finally got the house. There's a lot to do. Upstairs tank, and number one is this tank right here. Obviously, it's beautiful, but it needs fish in it, needs water in it. So we have to get the filtration. Let me show you what I mean by that. We have a bashy sump down here, but we have to put all of the bio medium in here, the pumps, everything else, get this back working so that we can actually get water in here, get it cycled, get the actual bacteria level up so that we can put fish in here. Now, you may notice there's this beautiful corals in here. Uh, I'm not gonna do marine fish because it's gonna be too hard to upkeep being that I don't live here. So we're gonna do fresh water. So you guys may go like, Brian, don't put freshwater fish in with saltwater coral. But guess what? I got to do it. I think it looks cool. And I'm going to go with African cichlids in here. I know. I know. Fish guys are going to hate me. I get it. Trust me. I get it. But that's the only thing I can do to make sure that it's not a ton so of So there's going to be super colorful African cichlids in here. But this is going to be a work in progress. We're hoping that within the next week, we can get the filtration in and start to put water in this beautiful tank. Number two, cylinder tank. Let's go. And of course, over here, we have an eight foot cylinder tank. This does hold water. And there used to actually be sharks in here, believe it or not. But it's going to be almost impractical for me to have this tank actually running here when I'm not living here. We have to be a little practical, right? I can't spend eight hours a day here working on things. So what I think I'm going to do, rather than putting fish in here, I think I'm going to make a really cool ecosystem in here. Maybe some waterfalls, pondless waterfalls, a bunch of really cool like rainforest type look or something cool, but I don't have to be here every single day taking care of it. Because you can imagine this tank full of water with a bunch of cool fish in it. It's going to take a tremendous amount of work. And listen, I don't have the time to do it. I have to pick my battles where they are. It's going to look amazing. Trust me. And by the way, guys, when I'm going to be doing this, uh, I'm going to have to somehow climb in here. This is the only access point. Downstairs Koi Pond. So this is what we would call Pondzilla. Actually, my buddy Steve made it this way. 5,000 gallons, but unfortunately, he actually had converted this to more of a swimming pool because the realtor said, no one's gonna want a 5,000 gallon in the basement. Obviously, the realtor didn't know a guy like me and probably a lot of people like you. So we have to drain this all out. There's no water in here. There's some chlorine residue, so we have to really, really scrub this because there can't be any chlorine. Then we're gonna have to redo the filtration, but unfortunately, because the realtor wanted to, he pulled out the filtration and actually ran the pond and instead replaced it with a pool pump and the pool filter is not going to be enough for the bio load that all the koi is so we're going to have to replace all the filtration back to where it was we're going to have to get all of this cleaned up we're going to have to fill out we're going to have to cycle the water once the water is cycled we're going to actually be able to put koi fish in here and with any luck pondzilla will get resurrected outside koi pond time to go outside that's right, the koi pond out back. Yeah, fish, 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 we love it. Which by the way, we one pond, we don't have to do anything with it. This is actually a goldfish pond. Take a look at all these goldfish in here. Super, super cool. We don't have to do anything with this, really. It's pretty much good to go. But the koi pond itself here, which used to be a swimming pool, we want to kind of bring it back. They call it a recreational pond. So what we're going to have to do is redo the filtration. Now, unfortunately, probably not going to be able to do that before the winter time because we're going to have to drain the pond and the koi that are in here right now wouldn't make it through. So we're going to probably have to wait till the springtime. But once the spring comes down, we're going to redo the entire thing. And over here is kind of a natural filtration system, right? So basically what happens is a pump comes through here and then the roots of this tree actually filter the water. It goes back into here and that's how this pond is filtered. Now it's actually a good system, but it's not big enough for this pool. So what we have to do is a, a kind of wetland system. Whether we put the filtration in the bottom of the pool or we dig out more area, we just need a bigger area that is filtering it. And then this water will be crystal clear, just like a swimming pool. But there's going to be a bunch of koi fish in here. Let me know in the comments if you guys would rather swim in a pool with the fish or would you rather swim in a pool without the fish. Regardless, I think we're going to keep the fish in, but this pond does need some work for sure, but that's not going to happen until the spring. I really don't even know what this is for, but it's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That is ridiculous. This is what everybody needs. <laughs> this is awesome. And with all these crazy projects here at the Aquarium House, I can't think of anybody that I'd like to help better than Ed the Pond Professor. Put a link in the description to his stuff. You definitely want to go check him out. We've got a lot to talk about. But I really don't want to do fish. This is all I have to get in. <laughs> I would almost do something, which we've done quite a bit of, where we just bring in big pieces of driftwood and stumps and things like that. So you're not actually bringing in a lot of big boulders. So it's very light. We could actually cut them apart and 
reassemble them. Right. We could definitely fit aqua blocks and then just build everything on top of it and do a lot of plants. And the biggest challenge though with a water type system is it has to be refilled. We'll have this up and running probably like next week. Okay. Get water back in this tank. We're just gonna do like African cichlids. That's right, say so just do cichlids. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that realtor was thinking when he said that, like this is not a swimming pool. No. No, no. one's ever swimming in no. this pool. Uh-uh. Yeah, it's nuts. Well, no. the filtration, filtration used to be over here. Okay. Like this is like, like the, how oh it used gosh, to be, yeah, you know, yeah. filtered off, but then, like I said, they pulled all this stuff out. Again, do you have that stick? I want to see how deep this thing is. Oh, yeah. Then you have all that vegetation over the surface, and these things, so it's not that deep. So it's the root system is your filter. Ah, yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, they do a great job of, of pulling stuff out of the water. Does it leak, or did he draw water down? I, I, don't, I don't know. know. It looks like this may have some issues, like yeah, leaks know. and stuff like that. So maybe if that's eliminated, manifold and all distribution back over here, and just plumb that directly into a wetland filter, yeah. like, and then you'd be able to get rid of the dye. It it's probably the tapered then, too. Yeah, it's tapered. Does gravel he, or something. Does he have gravel? He might have gravel on the bottom. Yeah, so he's, he's got different types of medias inside each one of them. Convert the gym into a game room. Let's go check it out. Now, it's interesting, last time I talked about this room, a bunch of people said we should keep the weight because they like to work out, and I realize they do. Everyone likes to work, well, not everyone likes to work out, but I will say that it would be cool to have this gym in here. I think it'll be better used, especially in an Airbnb style, for a game room, right? Foosball table or some sort of table right here, some gaming table right here, and then a couple arcade games right here, and then just a kind of area over here where you can sit down like a table area where you can play board games, right? I think this room will be better suited for that and working out. And I know you gym heads are gonna say I'm wrong, and I don't disagree with you to some extent, but I do think that it's gonna be a cooler room. It's such an interesting room. Look at this, glass walls. You can see the stairway, everything like that. It's so absolutely amazing. So I wanna make sure people are utilizing this, not just looking going, oh yeah, it's cool, there's a gym in there, and never using it. Furnish the entire place. Furniture. Yeah, place a little bit empty here. So we've got to have a sitting area here. We've got a little TV over here. So we already bought some chairs. We're going to bring them over here in the next day or two. A little in table, you know, a little area for here just to sit down. Because listen, you can be sitting in here or you can be sitting all the way in the other room over here. And we're going to get some sort of couch, maybe a sectional, something like that. Couch area here, couch area there. This screen comes down right there. It's a theater, it's got surround sound. You can watch your favorite game. You can watch your favorite movie. You can do whatever. In the meantime, you're looking at this beautiful cylinder tank right here. And it's going to be absolutely a great place too but if there's two families here one family over there one family over here if you hate each other you don't even have to see each other dining room area Got to get furniture for the bedroom. This is the master bedroom here, so obviously we need a bed over here. Maybe some sitting areas over here. You got the TV over here. So there are a lot of knick-knacky type stuff. I mean, honestly, Lori's the one that's gonna do all that. I don't know much about it. We got three rooms up here that we have to furnish. Lots of TVs. Lots and lots of TVs. A lot of the TVs that are in here are a little dated, so we're gonna update them because we want to have like Wi-Fi capability. So that way you can log into your favorite streaming service. So we got TVs here. We got a TV over here. We got a TV here. I don't really know why you need that. TV. Come on down. This TV is relatively new, so it doesn't need to be replaced, but we got one, we got two, we got three TVs back here. You know, that way you can watch this TV here and in the back, the eyes in the back of your head and be watching the TVs in the back. Seems reasonable. Black toilet paper. I don't think that a normal color toilet paper will fit into this bathroom, so we have to get a bunch of black toilet paper. Lori's not a fan of this idea. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hot tub, sauna. Hot tub and sauna, come with me. Of course, we've got the gym area that's gonna be the game area. We got the bathroom over here. And then, of course, you come in here, you got the hot tub. We gotta just fill it up and do all the treatment in it. It's all cleaned out, ready to go. Should be really good. We'll continue to clean that out every time we have a new person come. And then the sauna is pretty much all set. This is actually what they call an infrared sauna. Just literally turn it on so there's nothing I have to do there, and that's good. Glass stair railing. Glass stair rail. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm a little bit not sure about this one. I love this staircase. It's what they call a floating staircase. But unfortunately, because of insurance purposes, you're not allowed to have a staircase without a railing because, you know, someone's drunk over here and comes walking down the slope, and they fall over the edge. I get sued, right? So what we have to do is a glass railing over here. You don't want to mess with it. It looks too cool. So basically what it'll be, there'll be a bolt down here, a bolt up there, no other hardware, and then a glass rail that goes all the way up, protecting everyone from getting hurt in the house and protecting me from getting sued. It's a fancy garbage can. So lots to do, but we are super excited. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna come here and actually stay. We're gonna have a form that you can fill out and we'll contact you when it's actually ready. It's gonna be pretty dope. I can't wait to do it. So, uh, hmm, I guess now it's just all about the work.
hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, curls for the girls.